What are we doing here? Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Pork Podcast, episode 13. Oh, unlucky number 13. That's why we did the lights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did the lights a little We've bit. had a lot of dim light videos. Yeah, we have. Because we have The Walking Dead, because we always do, like, we're, like, really big lighting guys. So, yeah. like, we, for if it's a dimmer video, like, Walking Dead, like, grittier show, yeah. dimmer light, you know? Yep, exactly. So it's not quite Walking Dead, but it's a little bit darker. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. It works. Okay. All right. Well, uh, you guys know how this works. We have a new format where we just kind of hang out and talk about what we want to. Mm -hmm. So let's jump right into it with uh, our first story that I'm sure we want to talk about. Memes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there are like a thousand different Star so Wars meme we found pages. A, we found a part of the internet that we love. <laughs> Um, go, it's like, uh, Jedi, all Jedi things or something. It's, really just, it's just Jedi I'll, I'll things. Find, just I'll, go to, just I'll, go to I'll find the link, and then I'll put the link in the description, because this is worth checking it out. I, we were cracking up for, that's why this video is going to be uploaded uh, so late at night, because we probably watched these memes for like an hour and yeah, a half. Yeah, because I got here oh, at, man. I got here at 6.30, we ate for half an hour, well, you guys ate for half an hour, we came down here at 7. And right now it is 8.15. Oh we my watched, god. Yeah, we've we been watched watching memes for, for an hour and a half. Did we really? waste our hat an hour of our lives by yeah. yes oh um, it wasn't wasted though we were cracking oh, it was i've never laughed so much <laughs> because of videos <laughs> so, so yeah i'll link that down in, in the uh in the comments or in the description so because so it was it was it was good it was fantastic all right so sticking with the star wars thing uh the new star wars movie star wars rogue one its first trailer dropped i thought and it was meant it, i liked it i, I liked I'm, it a I'm, lot i'm in the middle uh, yeah it's okay i'm, I'm not ex See, I'm, I'm just scared for it. Now, the thing that people, I understand why you guys didn't like yeah. it as much is because you guys are set in the Star Wars Episode Seven nostalgia, so any other Star Wars thing isn't oh. as exciting as that, just because Star oh. Wars Episode Seven, since it was coming back... No, I just like lightsaber battles. Really? Yeah. Well, but this, they have to expand their universe, though, right? Like, that's yeah. why I'm excited for it, because it's like a spy movie. That, it did, it did that like, is kind of cool. Like, it's, yeah. a, it's a different genre. Like, yes, it's still <laughs> it's still my favorite uh, It's still my favorite franchise with Star Wars. But will there be a lightsaber battle? Darth Vader's going to be in it, and I guarantee you he will kill the Rebels. But you're gonna, is there going to be another lightsaber to fight his lightsaber? I doubt it. Dang it. If there is, it'll just be like subplot or something. Yeah. See, what I like about this trailer is that it looked like an actual war. Yeah. yeah that'd be like Think that. about it. That'd it's like, cool. there's never like any war in Star Wars. This looks like the actual first war. Right. Yeah. And it's really true. You just, like, point that out. Like, it never smelled like there's really a war going on. <laughs> I feel like the closest it's ever gotten is the Battle of Hoth. Yeah. Right. But otherwise, um, nothing. One thing that I saw, which is really true, this has the uh, possibility to be the first uh, critically acclaimed uh, prequel film. Probably. Yeah. This is, this is the first film that has a chance to actually be like. Be good. Yeah. Trying be, to like, like, be like uh, widely liked. They're, they're trying to wipe away that stain on their reputation. And I, and I still liked episode three. I didn't like episode two and I didn't like episode one. I still liked episode three and I know that's not a popular opinion, but that's why I, that's why I said, that's why I purposely said this is the first prequel when film that I could be. Like <laughs> <YouTube before. laughs> Just go, go watch the memes. We can't even talk about we Star Wars. Have, I have the high ground. I literally can't take Star Wars seriously right now. I've been watching all the memes. Oh. We, we should have watched those memes because now I can't take it seriously right We're now. We're just giggly messes during this podcast. <laughs> this is like the unlucky. So, uh, since it, uh, actually, I'm going to save this for the end because I actually had a topic for, to surprise you guys. Uh, since oh, episode 13. Wow. that's cool. Okay, yeah, good. I, um, I also showed Anthony and Austin uh, the finale of Star Wars Rebel Season 2. Oh, man, that was I awesome. Figured... No, that, that was pretty good. That, that was awesome. I mean, <sighs> except for that little annoying kid, though. The voice acting is great. <laughs> James Earl Jones is meh. He, I, I don't know why you guys. He was the only good part about that. He was the only part about that. He just sounds weird. Yeah, he sounded he more, sounds evil. more evil. But but you know I guess that can make sense because like if it's gonna take place before episode four, exactly. I guess I'm expecting him to sound younger. Yeah. Yeah, not older, not forty years older. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. I understand that you want to. Well, get no, the he sounds. No, I think what they're. I don't think they're going for this, but to me, it sounded like he was just more angry because he just got Darth Vader. No, he just his like his voice as a whole was just older. All right, fair enough. I fair mean, enough. he aged forty years in between episode four and then episode. He just sounded more angry. I don't think he sounded older. Yeah, he sounded. I, 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 I feel like I feel like James Earl Jones kind of wanted the paychecks. <sighs> Yeah. I'll, I'll do my voice, whatever. Just give me the Oh, he comes. If James Earl Jones is going to do the voice again for Rogue One? Oh, I hope so. Uh, I believe so. I mm -hmm. think that was in the rumors that we talked about way, way back on the podcast. Man, we should go back and watch. Yeah, I don't remember what episode it was. I don't know. It was some. It but, was, I think it was um, one. with this Rebels finale, uh, let's just go over our favorite part. Oh, I like the final lightsaber battle with Ahsoka and uh, 
Darth Vader, that's pretty cool. Oh, we're talking about the favorite part in the... Yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that, that was definitely my favorite part. And also, when it was, like, the helicopter guy, he was like, oh, I can make it, guys. And, like, he, like, starts oh, yeah, using the helicopter. For some reason, the Inquisitors in this episode, with, like, their lightsabers, they decided that they were going to, like, be able to be helicopters. But then one of them, like, failed, so then it just, like, broke and you just saw him, like, fly to the ground and die. It's like, all right, that's cool. Can, can well, just, you tried, buddy, you tried. Can we discuss our favorite moment from the trailer? Yeah, sure. My, sure. My, my, my favorite part of the Rogue One trailer, it was like, I'm a rebel. Oh, I'm part of the rebellion. So I rebel. And I'm like, that is, that is awesome. That was a lame line. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that line. What? That was great. I liked like, the metal trooper with his helmet off. That's pretty cool. Uh, the death trooper? Yeah, the, the still shot of him looked pretty cool. My favorite part of the trailer, honestly, was the opening theme because it's the same opening theme, but it was with different instruments. And it was like, it was different oh, yeah. enough that it, it like sounded good. Because like, Basically, what that music implies is this is the same universe, but uh -huh. this is a different genre. Oh, I also that, that's why I was like, oh, I, I like that. One, yeah. th one thing I loved about this, like, the director really knows how to do scale, because it's like, when you see, like, the AT-ATs and, like, the humans, that yeah. is so cool. Yeah. Like, like, this guy, like knows, how to, this guy knows how to scale. Well, I mean, uh, the guy who's directing it, he worked on a lot of World War II movies. That's why, he, he, oh, that's why there's the big scales. Yeah. So it's and perfect for this. And also, based on what you just said with music, I want to circle back to Rebels real quick. Why can John Williams do the music in Rebels for episode seven? I don't know if John Williams... John Williams doesn't write the music for Rebels, but Still, the music in Rebels is really it was, good. Oh, like, really the good. ending song in that was, like, better than any of the music in episode the, seven. Oh, yeah. even, no. Well, Which the, is really sad to say, but Well, basically, because a lot of the music was recycled or just not memorable. But, yeah. um... But, yeah, that last... That song that played when Darth Vader and Ahsoka were fighting, and then, oh, that... That, that entire scene that was, was just like... That was yeah. awesome. It was, it was such a good episode because it paid homage to the past and the future. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so sticking so, with the Star Wars theme, Clone, do we want to yeah. do we want to rank... Or do you have something to talk about? Clone Wars is canon, right? Yes. Clone okay. Wars is still I was just making sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, don't, I know they cut out a lot of stuff, so... Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. Well, this is a surprise topic that I didn't bring up beforehand, but why don't we rank off our top three lightsaber battles from the Star Wars universe? Okay. That okay. could be over the animated series, that could be the Clone Wars, Rebels, or the movies. All right. Um, I don't know if you guys ever saw this one, but it's uh, my favorite one from the Clone Wars. Top three. Uh, top three. This one's my number three. Um, it's Anakin versus General Grievous on the train. Okay, I did like that one. Remember that one? Yeah, I remember that one. That's a good one. My second one is the one that you showed me. Where I, I like all the Anakin ones for some reason. I hate him as a character, mm -hmm. but he's... I don't know. I like all his lightsaber battles. It's Anakin versus Ventress, because Ventress is my favorite. Uh, Which battle. one, though? The because one, there's oh, the animated not, animated, there's... Not the jungle one. Oh, no, is it the jungle? It's the it's the cartoon one, the 2D one. Okay, so the, the jungle one. Yeah, yeah. The one where he gets the scar. Where he's like, yeah, on the pyramids or whatever. Right, so he them. didn't have the long hair yet. He no. still had the braid, and then he had he had, didn't get the scar because he got the scar from that. Okay. Yeah, Avengers was, was cool in that. And then first. And then my first one is um, episode six, Darth Vader vs. Luke. Okay, oh, makes sense. All right. Okay, number three is when Anakin's with the kids and he's like, "Master Skywalker." <laughs> no, that doesn't count. Do? No, that does count. as that, my favorite. The ones they know how to use the no, lightsaber. No, 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 it has to be on screen. No, but number two. No, 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 no. Go back. <laughs> go back. No, you have to go back. When you're Honestly, <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Actual right. lightsaber fight. Okay, fine. Uh, probably. When your boyfriend's good with kill children. <laughs> Just go look at the page. Okay, uh, <laughs> probably number three is the one in Empire with um, Luke and Vader before he gets mm -hmm. his hand caught off. Number mm -hmm. two is between Rey and Kylo Ren okay. in episode okay. seven, because that was awesome. And then number one is probably, like Anthony, uh, Luke and Vader and Jedi. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's so iconic. Oh, it's yeah. pretty cool. All right, I'm like way off the chain from you guys. Okay. So, You're a pretty cool baby. Uh, well, <laughs> so my number three is Anakin and Obi-Wan episode three. Okay. Uh, number two is Kylo Ren and Rey okay. in episode 7, and then number 1 is Vetra's Invader. And it's not the fight itself that made it Vetra's so good. Invader? What's one? Uh, not Vetra's Invader. Uh, so Invader. Favorite. Oh, so, oh, that is your favorite yeah. now, isn't it? Yeah, that is my favorite. Uh, by far. Uh, and oh, it's not the fact of the fight itself, it's the tension behind it. Uh, that, that was an awesome fight. I mean, just watching that scene, it like mm -hmm. it gave me chills because it, it was heartbreaking to see, you know, Apprentice that, versus Master. Well, isn't that just... Um, isn't that just Obi Wan and Anakin? Yeah, basically. The cool, yeah. Part, the cool part of that scene was like when he gets like his. Like, yeah, part when, of his when Ahsoka off. like oh, yeah. cuts it off, and then they brought back uh, Matt Lanter, who voiced Anakin in the Clone Wars, uh, to like say his lines, and then he was like Ahsoka, and then and then she was like Anakin. I won't leave uh, you again. And yeah, I won't like, leave you again. And then and then it's just like this silent moment, and it's just like panning around, and then you hear Matt Lanter go. Then and you will die. die. And then the lightsaber goes up and it's like, oh. oh. And then they played this 
great track. It was, it was awesome. this great music, and that's the one that I was complimenting. Yeah, it was it was gorgeous. That was off. Oh, that was it awesome. Was I, I want to I want to watch that. Right. And I kinda, oh, yeah. I'm probably gonna watch it again. Uh, I, I just want to watch it just for that final one. Yeah. All right, well, I think we've been talking about Star Wars enough. I want to circle. Do we want to take a break and then come back and talk about the other things? Yeah, let's make a quick yeah, cut. Sure. Real quick cut. All right, we'll be back in a second. Ah, god damn it! I'm so mad. You you put on record, didn't you? Yeah. You've been recording this entire time. No, I just recorded. Uh, I was gonna say, okay, I'm gonna add a picture. We're back! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're back. Austin hates it. <laughs> he Can we, like, move that part to the front? Maybe. Okay, here, okay. make a cut right now. Okay. No, no, cut. Oh, you can just cut it from that down and move it? Yeah, if I clap, we cut. There we go. Okay, just cut. No, Alright. That's not how it works. Let's actually start now. And that, we're back! Hey, we brought kazoos. Yeah, we have kazoos. We brought kazoo in case Austin misbehaves, because we know he hates I, I don't have a kazoo. <laughs> have a kazoo. I kazoo. wasn't at the party. Yeah, you were you were having too much fun. I was I was having fun times in Maryland. With your Starbucks. I mean here I have my phone, so that counts as my Alright, that that works. Alright, uh <laughs> okay. so we wanted to come back and talk about gaming stuff now. A little, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Um I wanted to talk about Microsoft. Oh. Yes. I, I'm so happy about this. I was looking told you guys this story because it's this big. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So basically what's happening is that Microsoft is open to let a patch re like they're letting develop developers release a patch. That will let their servers work with the servers of any other platform. Kind of. Right? That's that's okay. So what the article said was is that um, Microsoft is completely open to the idea of cross-platform play, play now, meaning uh, that doesn't matter what game it is, whether the game has already been released, is about to be released, or is being released somewhere in the future. They're open to working with developers on releasing a patch for a game if it's already out to make their game work with another one. It's like, for example, like NBA or mm -hmm. The Division, Destiny, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, yeah, there's all kinds of examples. They're open to working with that developer so the developer can yeah. t bring out a patch that all of a sudden your lobbies and the amount of people you're going to be able to play with is going to be broadened by like yeah. 100%. So basically, like, for like esports Call of Duty, um, you can choose, like, your preferred console. Right. So, like, if you want to play on Xbox One, your opponent can play on PS4 if they want to. Right. You know? Yeah. Which is crazy. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is huge because yeah. the console war will most likely it's gonna be ending. It's going to end. Yeah. The, the only thing that will kind of fuel the console war is exclusives. Right. But that's just preference. You can't even argue that. No. no. Like, it's whatever you because want. Because Xbox has Quantum Break and PlayStation 4 has Last of Us. Right. PlayStation 4 has Uncharted. We have Sunset Overdrive. Right. They're great exclusives on their own right. Right. You know, uh, yeah. This, this should have happened a while ago, honestly. I, I agree, but I'm not complaining. No, I'm not uh, either. It's I'm not here, and that's what matters. Because like, I, like, console wars should have just ended in the 90s. Yeah. So I'm, I'm happy it's, like, coming to a close now. Now, I guess the only person, oh, the only people left to fight is Wii U with uh, Dreamcast, right? <laughs> that's how it works. Yeah, if you know, if they still make I feel consoles. like Wii U has already, like, Nintendo's already, like, I think we, I think we Sega give, through I, the dirt, <laughs> considering all of their Olympic games are versus Sega, <laughs> when we all know that they don't balance those games, and the Nintendo characters are way overpowered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's when, I, when anyone ever plays a Sonic and Super Smash Brothers, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who published this game, Sega or Nintendo? Oh, <laughs> uh, Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, man, that's great. Yeah, that's... It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but here, also some other gaming stuff. Um, We're getting back into Let's Plays. Or we're going to try to. Yeah, Wait, really? attempting. Well, this is new news to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah we're going to... Anthony and I are going to record UFC uh, a UFC Let's Play. Look forward to that, because that's yeah. who the matchup is going to be. <laughs> In Anthony's it. corner. God, freaking idiots. And Boy, in, dynamite. <laughs> and in my corner, Colin Kaepernick, the guy who won't be on the Broncos unless something happens. It's going to be so dumb. It's going to be dumb, but it's going to be great. So oh. please, check it out. Oh, can I'm... we do it in character? No. no. I can't play Colin Kaepernick. I'm going to have to oh, listen I'm to gonna, this. I'm just going to talk to the point dynamite the entire time. I mean, I'm going to have to listen to that. <laughs> yeah. You'll be our tech guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and also look forward to the music video at the oh, end. Oh, I'm so excited for this music video. I'm so we're, hyped we're like, for the music We've video. increased the, the production value. We've literally, like, we've never planned a music video before until right. now. Oh, yeah. Like, this music to, video is planned. This has been planned over, uh, like, three days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited for <laughs> that. Yeah, that is, yeah, that's a lot of planning. Yeah. So like, look forward to that. This is going to be definitely released as its own video. Oh, Are we going nice. to release it as its own? Oh, yeah, yeah, the end of this video, you. but we're going to do what we did with the magic. Oh, yeah. This one deserves it. Yeah. <laughs> and also, you know, that mixtape is coming. Yeah, the mixtape is coming. Episode 20. Wink, yep. wink. Keep it up for it. Yeah. It's coming. All right. Uh, do you want me to go through statistics real quick before yeah, sure, we get into it. your topic? Hmm? Okay. Oh, I'm excited for Anthony's talk. <laughs> okay, so uh, statistics right now, we're at like 2,500 total views, which is really good. We're at 74 subscribers. 
Uh, you guys have been fluctuating lately. Yeah, you guys are kind of confusing. Confusing. Yeah, so uh, if you guys are watching this and you like what we're doing, you know, don't don't just be like, oh, okay, that was cool. Move on. Share this video with your friends. You know, go like it. Yeah, go like like the video. Share Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share literally it share it on Facebook. Retweet it yes. on Twitter. It's literally just like one click. Yeah. 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 And also episode twelve. I know it looks intimidating. It's not as long as you think. Twenty oh, yeah. minutes of it yeah, is like spoiler it's, stuff. You yeah. can. You can stop. And it was actually a really good episode. It's a fantastic episode. If you, if, yeah. you, if you really just want to watch stuff about Batman v Superman, you can watch like the last 20 minutes. Literally, and yeah. And if you don't else, care about that, like, just if you don't before. go and watch that video, then you're missing out on my rant about 98.9 yeah. Magic you're literally and, missing. and Starbuck rant. You're literally and missing. Starbucks. I think it's, because I rank our videos, I think it's in our top five. Oh, yeah. yeah I agree. Oh, yeah, easily. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what we've been working on. All right. Hmm? Yeah. Is it my turn? Let's go. All right. All right, so, uh, in honor of episode 13. I don't know, I don't know who calls it Unlucky 13, though. <laughs> I know. I just know by Friday the Thirteenth. Episode thirteen. No, thirteen is an unlucky number. So I was thinking for our little piggy talk. We're not really structured, but still, I'm gonna call it piggy talk because I'm oh. self proud. Okay. I think we should talk about our most unlucky moment I'm in not, life. I'm not ready for this. I don't. I don't. Okay, Austin, go. Okay, well, I have two. One, one's like a relationship thing, and then one's like a other thing. Which one? Are you I'm talking to... about the fifty dollars sweatshirt. Yeah, that, 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 it's kind of like it's kind of like that whole thing. It's kind of like that whole relationship thing. All right, no, no names. Which, which don't one? use names. No names. Okay, so let's just say, uh, so let's say that there a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, <laughs> that there was a young lad. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, <laughs> so there was a young lad named Austin. And that's okay, don't name. make it too dramatic. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so there was this girl that I liked, and um. I'd say all throughout middle school. I'd say from 7th grade to 8th grade. Yeah. And, um... Oh, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> and, and Austin didn't know how to date girls at the time. So Austin thought the way Does to date girls... Uh, a little bit more. But, but Austin Austin thought, oh, if you buy the woman the thing, she will guarantee to like you. Which so, is true for a week. For a week. <laughs> How so, much was the sweatshirt? So I bought her a sweatshirt that was like fifty dollars, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, oh, she'll have to like me, and she and and granted, she dated me for a week, and then apparently, getting clingy is like trying to hold a hand. So <laughs> it was like, you're done. It was like, oh, I'm like, do I get the sweatshirt back? Nah. Oh, all right, fifty dollars. <laughs> and then, and then, and then the other one, th th this one, I think is more funny. Uh, I was like, it was like the day right before sixth grade, and I used to golf because I was an idiot. And my dad let me drive the golf cart, and it was like, oh, Austin, nothing will happen. So I don't know if you guys have been to like the golf course, but it was like a hill at one point that like leads to like a bridge. So I was like, so I didn't know what to do. So I was like, I was like driving, and like I hit the f bump, and like I flew out of the windshield, and like I like I scraped my knee really bad. It was like the worst thing ever. And like this general guy, he was like, were you like? <laughs> I was literally like that. I'm like, Ugh! and then he was like, I was like, I thought I broke my leg because I felt like I broke my leg. And this general guy was like, shut up, you're fine. I'm just like, it's not even fair, bro. You were in the Air Force. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Your leg's just like that. And you're just... <laughs> He's like, you're fine. <laughs> He's like, oh my God. It was like, yeah, but that's, that's, that's it for me. All right, Joe? I actually, I didn't have an unlucky story, but now I do. Okay. 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 So, uh, the summer in between eighth grade and high school, uh, I went camping with my family, right? And it was like this big family trip that we went camping uh, with my dad's side of the family. And it was like, there was a lot of us, it was really cool. And it was starting out and it was like really fun. We had gone like four wheeling for the day. So it came and it was like four or five at night. And my little sister got on the four wheeler. And she was driving around, and they were like, oh, come on, Joey, go hop on the four-wheeler, it'll be fine. I was like, yeah, this is a fun campy trip. So I hopped on, and we were going around, and it was really, really fun, okay? Well, um, these four-wheelers were a little smaller. They were just as heavy, but they were a little smaller, okay? Uh, and I'm a tall person. Yeah. yeah. So sitting on the back of that, while my sister, my little sister is driving. Now, my littlest sister, she's a daredevil. <laughs> she goes fast. She makes very sharp turns. So my unlucky self, um, so my foot was, like, propped on the side. And she swung her turn so sharply that my foot slipped off and went un and got caught underneath the tire. Oh, oh, oh I remember this. Oh, yeah. so, and you're, you're limping for like a solid month. Oh yeah. Oh. So uh, 
ba so what happened was is that my foot got caught underneath, so I fell off, and then I took off my sock and uh, my shoe, and I literally limped my way back. Because Haley was like, "Get back on, get back on, are you okay? I'm so sorry." And I was like, "I am not getting back on." <laughs> I was like, "I am not getting back on." So I limped back, um, and. My, I, I showed everyone, and they're like, oh, yeah, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Don't worry about it. That night, my little sister got bit by a dog right on the lip, and it went straight through her lip. Ooh. And we didn't leave. Okay? So then comes Sunday, and we it's get like, back. It's like vacation. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay, so then. <laughs> no, this vacation's going to No, it gets be better. It gets better. So we get back, and uh, every Sunday I go to church with my mom, right? Yeah. So we got back like a half an hour before my mom was supposed to pick us up for church. And my dad is like, oh, I guess we should go to the emergency room. <laughs> so we went to the emergency room, and he calls my mom. He's like, um, so... The kids aren't going to be ready for church. And my mom's like, oh, why? Um, your son's in the emergency room. Turns out my foot was infected. <laughs> and uh, I wasn't allowed to walk for like a month. I had wow. to keep my foot propped. And yeah. uh, to this day, I still have a scar on my foot. And it's, it's like a smiley face. It goes like, right around my circular bone on my, on my foot. So it's like a smiley, so it curves right around. So I didn't break anything. It was just infected, which is obviously really bad. I yeah, yeah. meds. And then I have two dots. Like, <laughs> there. So I literally have a smiley face scar that won't go away That's on my hilarious. foot. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, it's great. That's pretty good. Great. It's pretty top. All right, Anthony. That's my unlucky story. All right, All right. I don't know if I'm going to regret telling this one or not, but I'm going to be very subtle about it. So mine revolves around <laughs> girls like Austin does. <laughs> So, I wish I did unlucky. I, <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty good. It's pretty funny. I know. So, it's, it's fine now, but I was in a very long term relationship with this one girl. And we broke up, and it was like four months later, it's like, you know, I'm going to get back on the market. So, I'm going to just, so all this stuff went down, and she was an older girl, <laughs> and it just didn't work out because I was like, I'm just younger than her. I was just too ambitious. I hope she but, helps. anyways, so this happened months ago, and I was fine, right? But then, I, my favorite show on television right now is The Goldbergs. <laughs> And I, there was an episode where the main character just gets out of a long-term relationship, and he like, and he's and he sees this freshman girl, and he's really wants to impress her a lot, so he starts and doing he's a magic grader. He's, he's an eighth grader, yeah. And he, so he does a magic show, and she like flirts with him and everything. She flirts with him, and like it's like there's like something there, you know. And he had just gotten out of a relationship, and he, so he was like crying about it, like in the episode before. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Was, like, he was like really heartbroken about it, and then he was yeah. like, and his mom was like, "Come on, you got, you've got to like, you've got to put yourself out there." And he's like, "All right, I'll find somebody." He's like, "I'll find somebody just like her and stuff." And yeah, okay, now continue. So, yeah. <laughs> so this kid, right? He, after his magic show, went great. You know, the girl, she's, like, really impressed because he's really cute and, like, quirky. And he's really, like, kind of awkward. But, you know, girls kind of like that because he's cute. But, <laughs> but so, after the magic show, he goes, like, hey, um, you know, after all this, you know, maybe you want to, like, go out to dinner or something? And she's, like, you know, Adam, you're really cute and all, but I'm a freshman and you're an eighth grader and just... You're just too, you're just a baby, and then she's oh! like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just sitting there, just like, good episode, good episode. <laughs> and it, it's funny because it was just like that. it was literally mirrored my life, <laughs> like my favorite show. I was like, I can't watch the show anymore. Oh my right? god! I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm all upset and stuff, and I'm like, what? What's wrong? I was like. Going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Goes downstairs, punches punching bag for a straight two hours. I can't take it anymore! Ah! But, <laughs> but on a serious note, oh. if any of you guys are watching, no, we're not talking about you. <laughs> but no, that's a lot. I don't know. I want to include that little piggy talk to make it more personal to you guys because we don't really reflect a lot of what our lives yeah. are like. Yeah. So, we'll be back in a second with a small little section. We're just going to check and make sure the recording is still good. Yep. We'll see you in a second. All right, had to make a quick cut there just yeah. to make sure the video is good. This is just a small little section about a story that we want to talk or about. Or we're going to edit so it just makes it look all good. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right, so I'll talk about the first part and then Anthony will talk about the second part. Okay. <laughs> I haven't heard any of these. So, so we're weird. talking about... That is good new to Austin. Yeah, right? okay, so we're talking about the origin of the kazoo crew. <laughs> the kazoo crew. Okay, so there are more of us with these kazoos, all right? So um, we're in this play and we decided, I decided that I wanted to have a cast bonding night over our break. Because it's a very, like... All the characters in the show we're doing are very close. Right, and a lot of us are friends to begin with. So yeah, we had a cast yeah. bonding night, and we went there, and we had a great time at this arcade mm -hmm. place, and we went bowling and stuff. Deal and or no deal was intense. Yeah, we won't talk about what happened in bowling. I, I wish I got to go. <laughs> Jeez, man. That was a call out call out. <laughs> okay, um, but anyways. So Joey we... got hustled. Oh. 
Do you know what she did? No. She's I, like, I, I suck at bowling. I always get the gutter yeah. every time. And there's like, three strikes. Not three strikes, but she got like. Yeah, she kept getting strikes and spares. <laughs> and, then, and then she was like, I don't know. <laughs> this has never happened before. It's like, it's like that episode of Drake like and Like the Josh. first time she went up there, she got a strike. Yeah, yeah strike. she was like, all right, well, don't make fun of me when it goes in my corner. And then it was a strike. And I was like, I'm done. I was like, I'm done. I, like, I looked at you and I was like, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, but oh, it wasn't God. funny to Anthony and Josh as soon as they were losing as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she was beating us for like half the game, and then I was like, well, crap, now I actually have to try. And then we finally got in the swing of it. Oh, yeah, and then I ended up winning the game, but she hustled me at first. It was not okay. Okay, but anyways, so we played. Back on track. Yeah, we played laser tag, and then we played in the arcade, and we got enough points to get everybody in the group a kazoo. And then we were like, all right, well, we have. Since we got these because of the cast. We have to bring them to rehearsals. Kazoo no, crew. we don't. Okay, so we did, yeah. We formed the kazoo crew. You guys and then, don't have to. But then we decided that we were going to bring it to rehearsals. But then it became an everyday thing that we just carried mm-hmm. around our kazoos. Yes. All right, this is where Anthony's going to take over the story because we were playing it around the school and then something happened today. All right, That's so I'm excited. today uh, <laughs> the this. school planned, believe it or not, this is not a made-up thing. This is an actual no, thing. this happened. This actually exists. They planned a fire NATO lockdown drill. And for, and for, no, no, and a, tor- for a tornado drill... That will go. That will be a tornado drill, and then the fire alarm goes off. You go outside to do the fire alarm, but then you run back in, and it's a lockdown. But That's the plan. Sometimes of the drill. it's a lockdown. That, that actually exists, yeah. and and, and, okay. and people make no, think that actually exists. Today was specifically supposed to be the fire needle lockdown. Yeah, and they like actually like emailed they all do, the teachers. They do it yeah. once a year, and it's a big deal. Yeah, but. <laughs> All of us walk down the hallway with our kazoos and we play them. Yeah, like every day. And it's then, like a regular but thing. But me and this other girl in the cast, um, I can't remember. Was it, I think, I can't remember if it's Isabel or if it's... It's Isabel. Is it Isabel who does yeah. it? I, or it could be Josh. I think Josh is pretty obnoxious about it too. But we just blow into her like... And I do it sometimes but yeah. I'm not like as bad as you guys. Yeah, but we're really obnoxious yeah. about it. And so I was after school doing it and Miss Carson, one of the security guards, runs out and she's like... <laughs> So it's been you playing that thing up and down the hallway, right? It's like, no, not just me. There's um, there's several. There's a crew. <laughs> there's a kazoo crew. And she's like, well, we um, we heard that, and we always come running because we think it's an alarm going off. So but then, and then, and then it's gone. You single handedly shut down the fire needle lockdown. <laughs> Yeah, they thought. No way. Yeah, no, no, no way. way. I, I like walked up to Josh and Anthony and like towards the end of this conversation, and she was like, "You guys are the reason we didn't have our fire NATO drill." And I was like, <laughs> "Oh my god!" Because they thought that alarms weren't working, so they didn't want to take the risk. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, on behalf of, uh, uh, so all of you guys that attend the same school as us. Just know You're that, welcome. that basically the piglet posse is the reason that we didn't have the fire nato. Oh my god! Today. No, no, but, not the fire nato. The, the fire nato lockdown drill. Yeah. Oh my god! Because like Miss Reyes was telling us about this before. She's like, "Yeah, we're gonna have a tornado drill today." Yeah, all like, the like, teachers were for it. it. And then I was like, "We, we never." Had, and like I'm at lunch, like, "Oh, we never had that tornado drill." What's going to happen? Yeah, and then the security cards, yeah. After school. <laughs> yeah. So um, the piglet <laughs> posse media has been keeping kids in school. You're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> so, right. um, this well, has been... Oh this has God. been the Pork Podcast, Unlucky Episode number 13. Um, please like, subscribe. That dislike button still doesn't work. I haven't made that joke in a while, but it's still a good joke. Good joke. Stay um, for the music video. The music video, we've been playing it for three days. I'll be very offended if you don't watch it. And if you don't watch it, I will force it in your face and I'll shove it down your throat. We're probably going to make it a separate video as well, just because, you know... You'll have no choice. Value. Basically, we're going to post the same video five times for the next three weeks. It's going to no, be new. Not. It's going to be We're the not going to do that. We're going to say it's episode 14. It's actually going to be the music video. All yeah, right. yeah. All right, well, this has been the Pork Pack episode 13. Um, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Oh. Um, I, I don't know. There will be some timestamps down below. Check out that link to that Facebook page with all the Star Wars There memes. won't be any timestamps because there's no I, there's no reason to put them in. Seriously, this. check out, yeah, check out the Star Wars just meme stay, page, though. Just, the music video is going to be great. And the, Watch meme, it. and the meme page. And the yeah, meme. we'll put a timestamp in for the music all right, video. Uh, all right. Well, okay. Thank you guys for watching, and tune in next week for episode 14. <laughs> wow. When your hands don't work. Say something, I'm giving up on you. I'll be the one if you want me to Anywhere I would have followed you Say something
seen, I'm giving up on you. And I am feeling so small. It was over my head. Nothing at all And I Will stumble and fall I'm still learning to love Just starting to crawl Say something Swallow my pride You're the one that I love And I'm saying goodbye Say something, I'm giving up on you I'm sorry you Say something! Say something! <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> How was it? How was it? It was pretty.